Jeremy as Cook here, and recently Monoprice sent me one of their Maker Ultimate version 2 printers. I've been considering the original for quite some time, so I was more than happy to try this improved version. The most obvious new feature is that the device is entirely enclosed, including the filament which actually sits inside of it. So it's a nice compact package, really good looking unit, so I was more than happy to get my hands on it and actually got it hooked up working with Octoprint. You can see the original interface there, just kind of a rotary interface like the like the Monoprice Mini. It's fairly limited compared to Octoprint, but as you'll see in just a minute, it does get the job done. Build volume is 200 millimeters by 150 by 150. You can see kind of my setup here with the power tail and there's a view from the top. You got the extruder on the right and then the filament on the left. Everything slides around in an XY gantry system. Open up the top and you can see the build plate, nice heated, removable, and is attached via magnets. Here's a couple of kind of close-up pictures of some of my latest prints. You can see kind of the results there. That's actually a holder for a USB port that, because it actually came loose when I was printing something. In an upcoming video, I'll go over kind of some of the stuff that I went through to get this running really well, working with Octoprint and everything else. But this is kind of intro, intro video, just to kind of show how it's how it works and stuff. And from the prints that I've shown my shown people that I know, that they seem pretty impressed with how it looks. So follow along and I'll give kind of an intro to everything. Now first thing of course was taking the plastic wrap off the off the doors. If you don't care about seeing inside of it, it looks pretty good like it is, but I of course do a lot of time lapses of, of it actually printing, so that was important for me. I disassembled the whole thing to make to take that off to get a nice clean nice and clean with just, just the, the plastic covering. I wouldn't necessarily recommend taking the doors off because that was just kind of a pain to get it aligned correctly. In fact, I'm not sure it's totally correct. What, what I would recommend is actually just, just ripping it off and then taking the parts apart incrementally as you need them. With, the, with that off, I turned it on and you could see another awesome feature is that it's got lighting inside. I, I do a lot of time-lapse videos of my prints, so the fact that it's got lighting already built in and I don't have to worry about it is a very nice thing. I'll put a put a link to my Octoprint, it's kind of the, my, my mount for this, which I used on my previous printer and it worked fine with this as well. Nice and nice and flexible, so I put I'll put a link to that in the description and in the upper right hand corner, which should be popping out now. I was a little bit a little bit worried about that, the, the wiring, whether it would get stuck or not, but so far it's been been pretty good. And one of the cool things about this this printer that I, I just like from a mechanical standpoint is the fact that the Z-axis moves to the gantry. It doesn't move back and forward. So the gantry handles all the XY movement, whereas the bottom handles the Z movement. I just think that's a nice clean clean way to do it. Some of the other printers do it well the other way, but that's just, that's how I would design it if I was, if I was kind of starting from scratch. So this is the initial print that comes on the SD card. Pretty easy to set that up. You just put the, put the filament in, press a few buttons on the interface and get it going. One thing I might note here is that, that I'm running it with the sample filament that comes with it. It's not a full size roll like the, f the one kilogram roll, but it's, it's pretty big, enough to make some decent stuff. And that, that holder is big enough for a full-size roll, if you're wondering, because I was a little bit doubtful to begin with. But with that, it popped out and it really looks beautiful. Monoprice includes quite a few accessories with this printer, including a scraper thing that you can use on this. I would generally use a knife myself, but it's nice, nice I thought of that, in case you're just absolutely starting from scratch. And there's the little kitty, it looks, looks pretty nice. Even the inside printed pretty well, no support material, except for maybe a little bit toward the head. So that masking tape, if you, if you nick it, as I did, you can just pull it off and some of that was included in that. Wow, uh, there's some color directions. The directions for setting up for the first print were, were quite good for this, but beyond that, I felt like there was, there's a bit of a lack 
of, of directions on it as far as like bed leveling, z-axis height, offsets, stuff like that. Something I've had to try to figure out, but I'll go over that a little bit more in the next video. And I think as the community develops, or at least I hope as, when, as the community develops, there'll be more, more out there for this. I, I think as far as the first print goes, it's very easy to get started with this. As far as more advanced options, if you want to model your own stuff, make your own own G-code, etc. Obviously that takes a little bit more more work. Fit on the same, same shelf as my mono price select mini that I had before, uh, which worked pretty well, by the way. I was pretty happy with that. But nice to see it just slide in. Speaking of sliding in, that's a full-size roll of filament. I believe that's a quote-unquote clear, clear PLA, which, which printed fine on this. It's a bit of a pain to get it through the, the detection method that detects when it runs out of filament. But, you know, you just have to have to work it in there and eventually eventually it pops out the top. The top has some sort of some sort of tube on it that protects us from, from scraping against the top hatch too much. It just rotates it back and forth. One thing that probably would have been good here is if they had maybe one or two more doors you could get in from the sides. I, I think that's certainly forgivable and certainly you could certainly work with it, but obviously more access would be better. So there I am working with the controls. Uh, those are the onboard controls. I, I'm very much used to Octoprint, so making sure it would work on this was maybe my one hesitation on getting this. And I'm happy to, to report that after some some work with it, I've got Octoprint running quite well in it. I, again, I'll come out with another video of just some of the some of the details I had to do to get it set up. Right here, I'm actually turning it off and turning it on for my phone. Or I could use a computer, iPad, whatever. That's a little extension called PSU Control that I really like to use. There's a little time lapse of, of a screwdriver holder that I made. Pop that out there with the removable bed. And looks pretty nice. Did have to do some work on the bottom bottom layer. Still trying to get that perfected, but as, as far as parts that I've modeled myself, but that's that's been improved quite a bit after after some work. Notably here, the the, the printer comes with a piece of software called Wii Maker or Wii Builder, which I hadn't heard of before, and seems to be it doesn't seem that great. So I, I switched using Cura. Had to use some sort of some. Um, opening g-code from this switch it over so took a little bit of work to get everything all the software developed but as far as hardware goes I, I think this is a really really good machine there's a bunch of prints that i made with it including the cat that my kids have since painted and there's a bunch of holders for for my headphones went through a couple couple variations of this trying to get everything correct this bottom layer doesn't look so good there but it's been improving since I since I've been working with it, there's some more recent prints. You can see it's a bit bit better. Only thing is that outer layer. A little concerned with that, but I've been told that it actually isn't something I need to worry about necessarily. All things considered, I think this is going to be a great tool. And for now, here are some time lapses. That's of course my headphones holder for my microphone. That I'm using right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If, if you did enjoy it, I'd encourage you to poke around my channel and make all kinds of crazy stuff. You know, certainly, if you want to give it a thumbs up, that's awesome, or subscribe. But definitely check out ne next time. I'll be going over some of the more details of how I set this up for Octoprint. Thanks so much for watching. This is Jeremy S. Cook signing off.